Also tonight, one young survivor of the Manchester bomb takes part in an inspiring photo shoot. Talks about how she's dealt with what she saw. I think like you've just got to stay strong and you can't let it like ruin your life. Even if you're younger or older, it can't just ruin your life. You have to go out and do things. A 12-year-old girl from Dromfield who witnessed the Manchester bombing has spoken to Look North about the trauma she still suffers. Amelia May Thompson wasn't injured at the arena but screamed so much that she damaged her vocal cords. She was selected to take part in a photo shoot as part of a tribute to the 22 people who died. Tom Ingle has been to meet her. It is an inspiring image, part hope, part tribute. A young girl carries a lantern towards a bee. At her feet, 22 candles, one for each person killed in the Manchester Arena bombing. And you with Ariana in the background. <laughs> The model is 12-year-old Amelia Thompson from Dronfield. She was at the concert, and almost three months after the terror attack, she and her mum are still dealing with the shock. The bang, just massively the bang, it just went, I, I can't describe how loud it was. It's... It like kind of went through your body, and like the whole arena like shook when it went off. I kind of didn't believe it happened. I don't think I really realised and thought it actually happened in real life. It was the culmination of a difficult few months for Amelia's family. Then her mum, Lisa, answered a Facebook campaign called Every Child is Beautiful, run by photographer and artist Imelda Bell. Amelia's mum told me quite a lot about what happened that day. Amelia was initially very quiet, but as we went on, she started to smile, came out of herself. She desperately wanted to do something to remember the people who lost their lives that night. I had the idea of her holding a lantern, almost leading out of the darkness into the light, leading the light, and she's being led by a bee, which has become a symbol of hope. It was extremely emotional to see, and I'm really proud of Amelia to do it, and the support that we've had from um, some relatives and also people who were at the bombing who've messaged me um, and said they're in support and, it, you know, people need to understand that there's thousands of kids out there suffering from that night who need help, and that help needs to be made available something that I think for everybody who was there it's going to take a long time to get over um, but obviously the people who lost their families in the 22 it's for those people really Amelia still admits to feeling anxious about travelling or even going outside heading to the photo shoot was itself a hard choice but she's adamant life will get better I think like, you've just got to stay strong and you can't let it like ruin your life even if you're younger or older, it can't just ruin your life. You have to go out and do things. Brave girl.